Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. It's the Philadelphia 76ers and the Chicago Bulls. And so here we go, the 76ers to start it. A look at the 76ers starting group. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. That's something you hate. We're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. And Philadelphia has possession. Embiid inside. Longley on him. Six on the shot clock. The hook. Count that one. And when Simmons is inside, forget about it. He uses his skill and smarts to take advantage. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with the Bulls head coach. Facing off against one of the dominant centers in the league in Joel Embiid, the coach knows they have their work cut out for them. He told me the way he can attack inside and outside, impact the play on both ends of the floor, he's everything you want in the center. And he's everything you don't want to face if you're an opponent. Guys? Thanks, David. And not every big can hit from there, but Horford has that versatility because that man has put in the work. Now here's Rod. Here's Jordan. It's hauled in by Richardson. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. And a dunk by Horford. And passes like that demonstrate the winning mindset Simmons has. A guy that wants to get his team involved. Here's Jordan. Over Horford. Jordan with another miss. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Richardson against Harper. Richardson kicks to Horford. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Harper the pass to Pippen. And again, no good by Chicago. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes... This happens. Harris finds Simmons. Up top, MB from the arc. The shot misses. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Outside, Jordan. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Harper the pass to Jordan. They could use a bucket. It is good. The yeah, high percentage look for Jordan it has every move you could ask for in the painted area. The 76ers leading by five. Al Richardson. Outside, Simmons. Over Harper. The 76ers with another miss. Now the Bulls with it. Outside, Pippen. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Well, uh, as much scoring as Jordan does, uh, the only thing he really cares about is that the team wins. Richardson the pass to Simmons. Now Horford. Rodman cover. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw of the game. second generation NBA talent Horford knows how to stay successful in this league you see how he's evolved his game to keep up with the time now here's Jordan over Richardson a beautiful fadeaway jumper by Jordan 
high offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Simmons passes to Harris. Oh, that's blocked. Now here's Pippen. Passes to Jordan. Shoots. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Jordan's got his third bucket of the night. The 76ers lead him. And Simmons kicks to Harris. To the inside. And the dunk by MB. This is where Tobias has really improved. Keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Bounce pass from Jordan. Outside, Rodman. Pass to Jordan. Over Richardson. Another shot. Dennis Rodman showing his tenacity on the offensive glass. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. More for double team. MB dishes to Richardson. Misses the layup. Chicago with the ball. Trailing by two. Horford against Harper. Rodman up top. He kicks it to Jordan. Goes up from the top of the key. Offensive rebound. And Rodman showing off his athleticism with a great putback slam. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. And it's blocked. Here's Jordan. He has six. I've been trying to break free, and no good had a chance to take the lead there. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Harper against Richardson. Outside for Pippen. And here is Harper. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Doesn't get exactly the screen he wants, but turns out he doesn't need it. Bulls shooting their first foul shot of the game. So for the Bulls. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. And it's Kukoc in for Scotty Pippen. One shot. And Harper no good on that one. And Embiid has got the ball here for Philadelphia. To the middle, here's Horford, and a dunk by Horford. And no chance to shut that one down. Horford's reach made that play unstoppable. Harris against Kukoc. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. Chicago making a switch here. Kurz checked in. Glenn Robinson, the third, is checked in for the 76ers. Matisse Thibel comes in for Richardson. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Here's Kukoc. Poked away. Horford with it. Now Thibel. And Jordan sends it back. And one of the league's most effective shot blockers from that guard position. Jordan can do it and help defense or on the ball. Now here's Kukoc. Can't connect from short range. Fibel, the pass to Horford. And he uses the glass on the layup. Horford's got 12 in the game. Five of five to start. 
I think he's in the zone. Outside Jordan. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Fable. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. For Philadelphia, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. throw drops in there for Thibel. Simpkins, he's checked in for Chicago. Bushler comes in for Jordan. Then for the 76ers, Scott comes in for Joel Embiid, and it's Burks in for Simmons. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Bulls trail by four. Now, here's Kerr. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Gets it to go. That one good from Wennington. One sign of a great playmaker, hitting his man in stride. Thibault kicks to Horford. Back to Thibault. Got a piece of it. There's the dish to Scott. Back to Thibault. Three on the clock. No oh, good with the triple. Here's Chicago. Trailing by two. Here's Bushler. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. Here's Thibel inside. Horford, good. 14 points for Horford. And inside the paint really is where Horford goes to work. Still athletic enough and, and really makes it look easy. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board... And the bucket. and you know Greg that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff too. My goodness. So here's Burks, the Bulls getting the bucket, pass to Thibel to the left wing. That's tipped. And here's Kerr outside. Kukos kicks it to Kerr, fires the three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. All alone. No good on that one. Chicago trailing here. The pass to Bushland. Outside, Kuko. From deep, and no good that time. Down low, Horford. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Horford's got 16. And the performance Horford has turned in, undeniable. He, he came to the table hungry tonight. Passes it to Kuka. One thirty-seven left in the first quarter. And the Bulls with another miss. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Birch can't get it to go. Bulls trail by four. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. The finish. Rips down the breakaway slam. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Now here's Kukoc. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Back to Kerr. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Kukoc can't get it to go. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. It's Robinson high post. And again, it's Philadelphia. Working in that mid-range area. The analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. 
Robinson against Kukoc. Jacks up a three. Up again. It's good on the putback. Al Horford getting it done for the Philadelphia 76ers. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He and if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Throughout that first, they just were aggressive on the defensive end, showing active hands. And they took advantage of some careless ball handling, some careless passing. You have to be more careful around these guys. Bulls trail by six. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the 76ers. Jake Milton is out there with Alec Burks. Then it's Mike Scott. Then there's Horford. And it's Korkmaz in the threesome. Milton with it. Pass to Burks. Over Kerr. Again, Philadelphia. Alec very comfortable shooting from mid-range. That's a shot he can get with his driving ability. Pass to Simpkins. Here's Bush. There's the pass to Kerr. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Bush. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Kukoc for three. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Scottie Pippen's checked in for Wennington. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris has checked in. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Pass to Simpkins. Pocket six. Pass to Pippen. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Harris. Philadelphia leading by five. Burks in the corner. Off target from outside. Burks has gone one of three shooting so far. Now here's Pippen. He's guarded closely. What a move. Pippen showing off some terrific ball handling. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Now Burks. Inside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Pippen. Nice work to get it inside and draw contact. The 76ers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throw. The first free throw is good. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Luke Longley's checked in for Simpkins. Rodman comes in for Kukoc. Jordan, he's checked in for Bushler. And it's Harper in for Kerr. Then for the 76ers, Joel Embiid comes in for Scott, and it's Richardson in for Burks. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Bulls trail by five. Now here's Jordan. He has six. A floater, and that's two points on the layup. Jordan's got eight points. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Milton kicks to Richardson. Back to Milton. Pass to Korkmaz. Can't hit that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Outside Jordan. The pass to Pippen. Right side, Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Harper the pass to Jordan. Here's Rodman. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. He has six. 
the game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Harris finds Milton. To the middle. It's deflected. Here's Embiid, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And who draws more fouls than Embiid? Very few players, if any, too much size and, and really too much skill to defend. The 76ers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. The first one falls. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer, so you just can't hack away at it. Simmons checked in for the 76ers. And MB drops them both. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Harper kicks to Pippa, passes it to Longley. To the paint and stolen by Richardson. Oh, and here we go with Simmons. Nobody back. And Simmons slams it in. And that's how you start the fast break. Josh Richardson forcing the turnover. He did that in college, and he's doing it now. Jordan against Richardson. Jordan inside. Good work defensively by Richardson. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. Pass to Simmons. Back to Richardson. The second chance effort, and the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. And he knocks down the first one. When you look at Richardson's skill set, you look at his size, you think, man, this guy could be a great 3 and D player. He's perfect from the line this time. Side Simmons. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. And here's Pippen. Outside Harper. Let's the free fly. Here's Rodman. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. And how about the perseverance offensively? I mean, following up the missed shot, and that results in second and third opportunities. Harris's shot is good. Nice bucket to polish inside game. Something Harris relies on. Pippen with it. Outside Jordan to the inside. Rodman's shot is off. And so Simmons will bring it up for the 76ers. They lead by seven. Here's Harris. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. And you see there Tobias with body control to take the hit, still complete the play. Pass to Pippen. Rodman trying to break free. Pippen, no luck. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 10-2 run here. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they... Oh, look out! Here he comes! Oh, that was amazing. And look Woo. at the elevation. Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. 
Richardson outside. The steal. Harper with the ball. And it's Richardson picking him up. Richardson against Harper. 20 feet out. Shot is good in the 76ers. Lead is cut to just five on the basket from Michael Jordan. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. And B, the best to Simmons. Back to Embiid. Here's Harris. Makes it off the glass. Six points for Tobias Harris. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. Pops it up for Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And you know how that plays going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. Richardson against Harper. Richardson outside. Six to shoot. Now the pass to Harris. Over Rodman. Off the left rim and out. Bulls trail by five. And the dunk by Jordan. It's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operation. Richardson against Harper. Richardson dishes to Embiid. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. Pippen kicks to Jordan. That doesn't go either for Jordan. The 76ers leading by three. Harris finds Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. But with the combination of strength and size, Simmons throws it down with ease. And the first timeout of the game called for Chicago. So for the Bulls, Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Kukoc comes in for Pippen. And Kerr subbed in for Ron Harper. Philadelphia also making some changes. Al Horford's checked in for Tobias Harris. And Robinson the third comes in for Korkmaz. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Josh Richardson. Kerr the pass to Wennington. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on NB. The Bulls have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Simpkins, he's checked in for Chicago. So he gets them both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Thibel, the pass to Embiid. Thibel kicks to Robinson. In the corner, Horford with it. Passes it to Thibel. Shoots the three. They get it back. Embiid falls through. He's now made two of four. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. They get a hand on it. Here's Thibel. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Robinson. Inside. Here's Embiid. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. That's now eight points for Joel Embiid. And hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but 
also mentally able to keep his focus. A nice shot by Jordan. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Robinson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. 76ers have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Two shots. And he makes the first. Alec Burks checked in for Ben Simmons. Robinson hits them both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. 151 left here in the second. Pass to Simpkins. Down low. Kicks it out to Kerr. Five on the clock. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Robinson passes to MB. Over Kukoc. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Thibault kicks to Horford. 102 left to play in the first half. Now, here's Thibault, guarded by Jordan. Here's Horford. The layup missed. Bulls trail by four. And the pass to Kerr. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Outside Jordan. Pass to Simpkins. On the wing, Kukoc. Over Robinson. Kukoc can't get it to go. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. And that one's good. Thibel. Thibel's gone one of three from beyond the arc. Burks against Kerr. Right side, Jordan. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Shooting two. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. Six seconds left now here in the second. From deep three-point range, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Philadelphia with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Al Horford putting in some incredible work tonight. He had 16 points and four rebounds. 
He's been a different player than he was in their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? A lot of their offense has come off the bench tonight, Ernie. And that's something every coach loves to get. The score would be a lot different if they hadn't gotten those points from the reserves. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Chicago? I like the way they rebounded. They devote a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards, and they help keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far what a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan man he's been running wild on him through that first half absolute dynamite on offense this is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half and after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. We've got Longley. Pippen is out there with Dennis Rodman. Then there's Harper, and it's Jordan in at the two guard. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass for the rebound. The drive by Simmons. No answer for Simmons. A tenacious scorer who finishes with muscle through contact. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That one misses for Simmons. The first pick in the 2016 NBA draft, Simmons has been a phenomenal addition to our league. And then Rodman with the dunk. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. No good from Simmons. Bulls trail by six. Here's Jordan. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got four points now in the quarter. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Now Harper. Outside, Rodman. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Count it. Jordan's got 24. It's just one of those nights where Jordan can do no wrong offensively. And let's talk about the endurance to go along with it. Wow. Philadelphia leading by six. Simmons passes to Richardson. And here is Harris, guarded by Pippen. Back to Richardson. Fires from deep. It's all in by the Bulls. Rodman's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Bounce pass from Jordan. Harper against Simmons. Outside, Rodman. Shot clock at six. Back to Harper. From deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. I'm not sure if anyone on the team has the green light from there. Definitely not him. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. Pippen kicks to Harper. Pass to Longley. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Short and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Ben Simmons. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. For Chicago, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. At the line for two. And 
and the first one drops. And so Jordan nails both of them. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Rodman against Simmons. Pass to Horford. Richardson outside from deep three-point range, but they get it back. Outside, Simmons. Six to shoot. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. Bulls trail by six. Outside Harper. And there's the pass to Longley. That one's rebounded by MB. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Longley with the bucket. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Richardson outside. Passes to Horford. Outside, Simmons. Second chance shot, and Embiid lays it in. Embiid's got 10 points in the game. And showcasing that overwhelming strength, Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Back to Pippen. Over Harris. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Jordan. Outside, Rodman. Jordan and slammed on by Jordan. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Here's Horford and the dunk by Horford. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Harper the pass to Rodman. It's Jordan on the wing. Back to Rodman. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And as a free throw shooter, Rodman has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. The Bulls have missed two free throws in the game going five for seven. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Chicago. Wennington comes in for Longley. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. Korkmaz checked in for the 76ers. And both free throws good for Rodman. 
And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yo, check Simmons. Simmons looking it over. Pass to Harris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Pippen. And the defender there a little out of position. Harris sees this, takes advantage, draws the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. That's good from Harris. For a player this good, still in his 20s, Tobias Harris has been on an astonishing number of teams. Kukoc, he's checked in for the Bulls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Bulls trail by 10. Now here's Jordan. 28 points for him. And they double up Jordan. Here's Wennington. They get the rebound. Rodman. Some solid defense from Harris. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Korkmaz kicks to Simmons. In the corner, Horford with it. Harris, right side. That one goes in. Harris has got the lead up to 12 now for Philadelphia. An elite distributor for a big man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. And here's Kerr. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Swiped it away. Here's Korkmaz. Harris passes to Simmons. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Korkmaz. Rodman cover. Here's Harris. And the layup's good off the glass. Harris has got six in the quarter. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive. And they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. And the 76ers call time here. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Chicago making a switch here. Simpkins checked in, and the 76ers will go for a different look here. Scotty's checked in for Horford. Jake Milton comes in for Korkmaz. Matisse Theibel checked in for Josh Richardson. And Alec Burks subbed in for Simmons. It's stolen by Rodman. Here's Jordan. And the Bulls get it back. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Burks on the wing. The pass to Theibel. And there's the call. That's it's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, that's two really unproductive trips in a row ending in turnover. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Chicago making a switch here. Longley's checked in. And they double up Jordan. Kukoc for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Who coach has got it back down to single digits for the Bulls. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Harris against Kukoc. Harris passes to Scott. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Scott's got his first points in this one. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Kerr kicks to Rodman. Dishes to Jordan. It's stolen by Harris. Now the 76ers on the break. And it's good. Two points. 
And now it's an 11-point 76ers lead. Getting better at facilitating for others. Tobias Harris with the pass that sets up the score. Yo, set it up. Now here's Jordan. He's guarded close. Rodman, count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Rodman's got six here in this quarter. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Passes it to Thibel. Back to Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. Love to see Tobias attack like this. You see the solid hops, the length, proven he's not just a perimeter threat. Kerr kicks to Rodman. Pass to Longley. Six on the shot clock. Outside Jordan. And then Jordan slams it in. Yeah, reading the defense, knowing exactly what's needed at each moment. That's one of Jordan's unsung talents. Scott finds Thibel. Got a hand on it. Hurts with it. Goes back up. He dishes it to Scott. And that's on a bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. And Philadelphia making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Here's Fable. That one's not going to go. Good D by Jordan. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Fibel. Jumps up, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. So he hits one of two from the strike. Bulls trail by ten. And a wide open look for Jordan. And the Bulls, another three. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Five the pass to Scott. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Harris. And Kerr pulls it down. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Ron Harper, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And the 76ers also making a change. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Fifty-nine seconds left here in the third quarter. To the middle. And finished off by Longwood. And Harper brings a lot of physicality to the table. Also solid at cutting the D apart with his passing. Thibault kicks to Scott. Back to Thibault. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. What's up? Did you see that communication? It was terrific. Offensively, they used the big play to set up easy looks. Pippins checked in for Chicago. Then for the 76ers, Al Horford's checked in for Mike Scott. And it's Ben Simmons in for Alec Burks. What's up? Thank you. 
They play the clock right. Then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Pass to Kerr. Now Pippen. Back to Kerr. He kicks it to Harper. Clock at four. Kerr, the pass to Pippen. On deep. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Simmons on the wing. To the paint. Embiid inside. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And here are the 76ers now. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth, the talented combo up front, Horford and MB. Matisse Thibel's out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Korkmaz in at the small forward. And they double up Simmons. Lock at six. From past the arc, Thibel can't get it to go. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's the pass to Simmons. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Harper kicks to Kerr. Here's Pippen. That one doesn't go. Now the 76ers take it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Outside, Kukos. Passes to Pippen. With the fadeaway. Here's Longley. There's big Luke Longley cleaning things up inside. Effort play pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. Feibel, the pass to Horford. Now here's Feibel, defended by Kerr. And that one's good, Feibel. And the 76ers lead by eight. Harper against Simmons. They double him with Horford. Kuko takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Pass to Embiid. Back to Thibel. Pass to Korkmaz. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. Richardson, he's checked in for the 76ers. And so here is Philadelphia. Six-point game. Six on the shot clock. The feed to Kukoc. Two points. That one goes. Man, that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it.
Philadelphia leading by three. The pass to Horford. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Simmons. Uses the glass to drop it in. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Shots good by Pippen. And Pippen there driving hard inside has the height and athleticism to consistently get it done in the paint. Richardson finds Simmons. Inside, here's Horford and a dunk by Horford. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. It's Pippen on the wing. Elbow shot, and they pick up two. Pippen's got four points now in the quarter. Rising to the occasion, he found a way to get himself open and get his shot. Working the mid-range, but you would think the defense would be keying on him. Longley against Simmons. Here's Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his seventh assist here tonight. And with an expanding skill set, Embiid is able to hit shots from all over the court. A fadeaway. Kukoc can't get it to go. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Kerr against Richardson. Passes it to Harper. They double him with Simmons. Pass to Longley. Just five on the clock. Oh, trying for it. From deep three-point range. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Chicago making some changes. Rodman, he's checked in for Kukoc. And it's Jordan in for Kerr. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris has checked in. Embiid with it. Pass to Richardson. Poked away. Here's Horford. Chicago grabs the miss. Rodman's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Harper. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question he got bumped on that shot. Shooting for Chicago. Ron Harper. At the line for two. And he makes the first. And so he hits both. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've led by as many as 14 points. The dish now to Horford. On the wing, Harris. And Simmons slams it in. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. Chicago calls timeout. Al Horford with a strong contribution so far in this one. This guy is killing you, and so far I haven't seen a good adjustment defensively. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, I was able to listen in on what Chicago's coach was going over with the team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thanks, David. Rodman dishes to Harper. Shot clock at five. Over Simmons. They get it again. Rodman. And it's sent back by Horford. Horford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Horford. Yeah. 
on defense Philadelphia. They lead by seven, and the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first foul. Pippen got loose and stolen by Horford. The second half, they haven't taken care of the basketball. Simply put, more turnovers now that could hurt them later. And his competitiveness showing through, that's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. It's Jordan on the wing. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. The 76ers leading by six. Outside, Simmons. Now the pass to Richardson. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Jordan. Here's Pippen. And it's good assisting on the play was Jordan. Pippen's got nine points now in just the second half. Pippen's gone 6 of 13 here. That's 46% field goal percentage. Horford kicks to Simmons. And they double up MB. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Bulls trail by four. Harper the pass to Pippen. Pulls up, high post. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. A hard worker who really ferociously strives to improve. Simmons tonight has been unstoppable at the offensive end. Rodman passes to Jordan. And the rejection by MB. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. Now here's Pippen. Here's Harper. And again, no good by Chicago. Harris against Pippen. Harris's shot is off. Chicago trailing here. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. good from Simmons. Bulls trail by nine. And here is Harper. Kicks to Jordan. Takes it from ten. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Harris. Pippen, simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless score. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Right. 
He's off on the second. Philadelphia leading by eight. And here's Harris from the arc. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. To the middle, here's Rodman. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. Sky high, one of his advantages as an undersized four. Here's Richardson. Pass to Simmons. Harris trying to get free. And that one's good. Simmons. 25 points for Ben Simmons. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. present our New Balance player of the game, Ben Simmons. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. Pippen against Harris. Count it, and the 76ers' lead has been cut down now to just nine in the basket from Scottie Pippen. Simmons with it. He feeds it to Embiid. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And you've got to admire the toughness that Embiid plays with. He doesn't let fouls stop him from scoring. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. The well, free throw drops for MB. Bulls trail by 12. Outside Jordan. MJ taken off from the free throw line. And then slammed in by Jordan. And we've seen it. He, he can do this all game. Jordan with a great burst there to get the finish. Feeds to Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Down low. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut back down now to 10 as they pick up the bucket from Jordan. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Richardson against Rodman. It's Richardson on the wing. Horford the pass to Simmons. Six to shoot. Good. Nice job down low. Simmons got 27. Yeah, the quickness, the size, and the speed of Simmons really breathtaking, especially when he's dribbling the rock. To the inside, and the dunk by Jordan. These are the fundamentals we're always talking about. Excellent bounce pass. 106 left in the fourth quarter. Now Simmons. Here is outside.
shot clock at six. Harris draws the double, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two. And Chicago has possession. This gives them the opportunity to get within 10. To the middle, here's Jordan. Banked in off the glass. Jordan's got 41. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Here's Embiid. It's blocked. Guys, let's just go ahead and call this one. It's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. The shot and game clock separated by four. Bulls moving the ball around. Oh, and here we go with Simmons. Nobody back. And Simmons slams it in. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.